Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. Currently I've monopolized this building. Like I shut every door <laughs> and lock myself in here. Or I am not locked, the doors are just shut. But um, I haven't made a video in a long time and uh, I haven't really had much to talk about so I kind of had to wait till something happened. So let's see. All right, I made a list of things to talk about, questions that people have asked, so I can answer them. Um, firstly, this is pointless, but I'm no longer natural. I tried it for five months. It didn't work out. That's it. It just did not work out. <laughs> um, I am still single. I am still 21, and I will be for the next decade and a half. Um, I was in the line shack from forever ago and I just got out in April the very end of April so you may as well say May I got out um, of the line shack and I went to my AO shop finally so I got a red cranial and uh, I still actually haven't done any AO work because as soon as I got there I went on leave and then I came back to the shop for one day and then I went to school so I still haven't really done much AO work but that's cool I am now a frocky for I have not been frocked yet I took the test in March and I just found out that I made it on Thursday so what's going on here so I just found out that I made it on Thursday and I'm very excited so I'm now a petty officer Ooh, thank God um, and I should be getting paid for it I don't know I haven't seen my profile sheet if I did really good then I'll get paid sooner than everybody else, and if not, whatever. Um, let's see. It's so funny because I was so cocky about making E4. Like, I just knew I was going to make it. Like, nowhere in my mind was it like, I ain't going to make it. I was like, look, where's the CO so I can get my handshake because it's going down. So, that was happy. It's a it's a real deal story that goes with that. But I'll let you like message me privately so you can hear that story. Um, <laughs> I'm not just gonna put it on the video like that. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if we are allowed to say what exactly we got for our evals, like what rating we got. But I'll just say I got a really good eval. Um, yeah, I got a really good eval. I'll just say that. <laughs> and. Uh, um, my collateral duties in my command, um, I was, I was, when I was in the line shack, I was the line shack training PO, so I handled all the training, made sure people got called up and stayed moving on their calls and not stationary and all that stuff. Uh, I am a victim advocate, so remember I said I wanted to become a victim advocate, so I finally did that. I did that last year, though. Did I say that in the video? I don't know, but... I became a victim advocate last year, and I also just joined CSAD. So I'm very active in my command, I shall say, and um, I try my best to take care of my people, and uh, we take care of each other, actually. Um, what else? On my face, what do I use on my face to keep my skin clear with all the exhaust hitting it from the jets and being outside and all that stuff? I use black soap still. I know I said that in a video before I had to. But I use black soap and it's the brand black and white and it works wonders. I have like everybody in my command using black soap. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, let's see. In December, my job sent me to Nevada. Vegas and I was there for like 10 days um, at uh, Nellis Air Force Base that's where I was and I was there for 10 days I had a lot of fun during my off hours you know uh, living it up on the strip having a good time um, that's what it's about they say you work hard so play harder responsibly of course and let's see that was in December then I came back and then January, I went back to Nevada, but a different part. I went to Fallon, and they asked Fallon. It's like a Navy base in the middle of the desert. And <laughs> um, it was uh, special. I think I owe me making third to my time in Fallon because I didn't do jack but work out and study the entire time. I w it was only me 
and three other people from my squadron out there together like those are the only people that I knew so I didn't do jack but work out and study and I made third so if you're trying to make third if you're trying to rank up go to Fallon <laughs> um let's see while I was there I discovered in and out Burger that stuff is so good I'm a big huge in and out fan I went to in and out so many times while I was there it's crazy it's so good though like the sauce it's the sauce man next on my list no I do not have any tattoos none whatsoever and it's only because I don't do like uh, commitment things very well like as far as like um, I can't commit to a tattoo because I'm going to look at it like three days later and be like why did I get that so I, it has to be something that I really 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 want like my mom she died she passed away when I was 14 so it would probably have to be something for her and I can't think of anything yet so and it's not going to be her name because that's ratchet sorry that everybody got name, name tattoos but it ain't for me um now that I've made third I'm going to move out in town, so I'm going to get some roommates and move out in town. Now, before I came in, like, I've never had a roommate before the Navy. I've always lived on my own. So, it's going to be different, but I don't, I don't know. I think, I think I'm willing to work it out because we go on cruise in March. Right now, it's May, about to be June. If I hate it and it sucks, it, I won't have to endure it that long. On top of... We will be uh, benefiting financially from moving out in town. I'll just say that. So I'm extra excited about doing that. I can't wait, actually. Um, we are starting workups, which is right before you go on deployment, like the work schedule like ramps up because you're getting ready to make that transition into deployment. So we're starting workups, and in a couple weeks, we are going to Key West. And uh, it's going to be pretty, I want to have a good time in, in the Key West. I know I'm going to work really hard, so I'm going to have fun, make some memories, take a bunch of pictures, share them, all that good stuff. Um, I can't wait, actually. And, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It feels like this video was so, like, I have so much Navy things to say. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, what's next on my list? Uh, it says, I'm sick of meeting new people. <laughs> I really am. Like, it's crazy. Like, my entire command, when I first got to my command, it was, like, one crew. And then now, slowly but surely, everyone is transferring out. Like, everyone. It's, like, a total and complete new crew. And it's so annoying having to get to know new people because it's, like, you got to get to know them and their ways, what they like, what they don't like. If you can joke around with them, if you can't joke around with like that is it's such a pain in my ass. Like I cannot I don't have any more room for new people. Like, I'm done. I'm so done. Like, I know it's probably some people who think I'm just a bitch, but it's not I'm not even being mean. I just don't feel like getting to know you. Like, I just don't feel like it. I'm so tired of meeting new people. I'm just tapped out. I'm tapped out. I'll come around to it. But just right now I'm just I got too much on my mind, too much on my plate. Like, just get in line. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is next? It says I need to meet new people. Yeah, I'm bipolar. I know. <laughs> but that is to say, I think I, I think I mean non-navy, like civilian people. Just because it's like, I see the same people. I see you. I get up, go to work. I see you all day. So when I get off and I'm ready to have a good time and go somewhere or do something or relax or whatever, I don't want to see you again. Like, <laughs> that probably sounds so messed up. I'm dead serious. Like, I don't want to see you 24 hours a day. So I think that's what I mean when I say I need to meet new people. But at the same time, I don't feel like it. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. What else? I just came from the beach. Um, so anybody who follows me on Instagram at sign bossing it I have been flooding y'all all day <laughs> uh, I don't know why uh, just having fun just easy breezy beautiful having a good time um let's see what else we're about to have a barbecue so I'm about to shower check my clothes get this salt off me and um 
go ahead and go to the barbecue. And uh, let's see what else. Do I have anything else on my list? People ask me, they ask me, am I re-enlisting? And the question is, I'm on the fence. I don't know. Like, I'm right in the middle. Because, like, I don't know. Shore Diddy is attractive to me. Because, of course, I'm not going to be deployed. So it's like I get to actually settle down and go to school if I want to and do other things if I want to and know that I'm not going to be interrupted by being sent away somewhere. Um, like I told you, I was gone in December. I was gone again from January to March in Fallon. Like, it's it's a lot. Like, it's good to be sent away because you get experience, you get to see new things, meet new people, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, it'll be good to know that I am uh, able to just chill and relax. So that's the reason why shore duty is attractive to me, but I'm not sure. Like, I signed for five years, so I have a little bit under three years left. And so that's a whole lot of time for me to think about it, change my mind, change my mind again, back and forth. So I don't know. I probably won't make up my mind until right before it's time for me to sign. Either I'm getting out or re enlisting. I don't know. But I probably will re enlist. Um, it's, it's not, uh, it's really not that challenging to me, uh, being a sailor or being an AO yet. I haven't gotten nitty gritty, like, deep down in the shop yet, but, like, I know part of what to experience, I mean, uh, what to expect, but I'm not all the way, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. In a couple of videos, I hear some I hear some buzzing, so I'm like, where is it? <laughs> where is the bug? <laughs> but um, I don't know. Um, in a couple months or something, I might be able to give more insight on that. But for right now, I'll say I'm on a fence, but leaning toward yes. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this thing. Uh, this thing being a sailor thing. Um, like I I made third class the first time I took the test. Hopefully, second class will be that easy too. Uh, I did study a lot though um, and it's crazy because I had never been to my shop I had never touched any of those things or worked with them I didn't have any experience so I was like I don't know about this test man but then I went in there and I left out feeling like huh hmm, alright so we'll see um, of course if I make second class that'll push me even more to re-enlisting uh, so If I don't re-enlist though, it's like, what am I going to do? I know I still have my pharmacy license uh, to be a pharmacy tech. I do still have that current. And I'm going to keep it current forever and ever. Just to have that option open. But it's like, okay, do I really want to go back to that? I miss it, but do I really want to go back? I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see, what else? I get a lot of messages of people like trying to date me and stuff and <laughs> it's funny because it's like um I'm actually reading one right now uh I don't really know like I think you just gotta catch me like I am all right obviously I'm older than 21 so I'm I'm, I'm aging <laughs> so of course I can't afford to um not date but it's just a lot of complic. Hey, I know that guy. It's just a lot of. Uh, it's complicated. Like if it was just face value, like what I see is what I get type deal all the time. I would love to date all the time. But like it's always so much um, ulterior motives and immature and games and I just don't have time for that. But in the weeding process, it's just so. I don't want to say stressful, what's the word? It's frustrating and a pain. It's just like, look, I don't feel like it today. I don't feel like it. So um, I don't go many places. So it's like the only people who are in my circle, like I don't even want to say in my circle, but the people who I come in contact with to date are all sailors. <sighs> all sailors and it's just like high school everybody knows everybody so you got to be like od od picky like od because everybody knows everybody and it's sickening so i just be me standing on the wall like yeah that so 
uh, I guess for those people who want to date me, I guess, um, just if you say something to me, just try to be as least, like the least amount of creepiness because I won't even respond. All right, and uh, what else? Um, my family's doing good. My mom's doing good. My little sister, she just turned 17. She is making me very proud, actually. She's got good grades, finally. <laughs> finally got them good grades going on, staying out of trouble, finally. So I think that just comes with growing up. It's like you hit a phase where it's like, screw it, I want to act a fool. And then you see acting a fool doesn't get you anything. And I think that's where she's at now. She's like, you know what, I'm going to get them good grades popping so that I can get a nice prom dress and things like that. She probably sees, like, the light at the end of the tunnel now. Um, I don't have any children. Uh, the Navy is my only job. Oh, somebody asked me why I don't have in my tongue ring anymore. We are not supposed to wear our tongue rings on military installations or on bases. So whenever I'm on base, I do not have it in because I'm not trying to have some master chief looking at my videos and like, hey, I see the barracks right there. You're on base with a tongue ring. What's your command? Or I know your command. I see the sign or anything. So I try to do things. I don't want to say by the book, but... I try to cover my own ass and keep myself out of trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> so I do have my, I do still have my tongue ring and my belly button too, but I just don't wear them and don't take pictures with them on base, like in places where I'm not supposed to, because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, geez, Louise, it's been so long since I made a video, but I can't believe like that was a long list of things, but I talked about it so fast. I wonder how long I've been talking. I should have timed myself. <laughs> um, let's see. What else can I elaborate on? Mm -hmm. Don't you just love when someone you don't like or someone who doesn't like you doesn't make rank and you did? <laughs> yeah, me too. For everybody who took the test and didn't make it, like, yo, for real. Even who I was just talking about. Um... <laughs> Um, just study, yo. Like, study, and it's all about waiting your turn. Remember, ooh, ooh, a good one. Remember in one of my videos I was saying, like, you just got to wait your turn? That is so true. Because the person that told me that was my RDC in boot camp. He's a second class. He was a second class at the time. I've only been in two years, like two years and some months. So, two years ago, he was a second, and he was like, yeah, yo, I know so many first classes that I'm better than, blah, 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 but you just got to wait your turn, da 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 just gotta wait your turn, so I was like, yeah, yo, I feel you, I feel you, so I went through A school, I went through all of that, I didn't make, um, meritorious advance, advancement, you know, uh, the push button, I didn't get that, so I was like, ugh, I wasn't, I was like bummed, but I wasn't discouraged, because I knew that I was going to keep trying, keep trying hard, but I was like, damn, yo, and so anyways, needless to say, that second class is now, been, he's been picked up for LDO, so he went from, BM2 to BM1 and now he's picked up for LDO so just in two years he's done so many good things and gone so far already just in those two years and he just told me yo you just gotta wait your turn yo you just gotta wait your turn and I was like alright 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 <laughs> so that, yo just just keep your head up don't get discouraged don't become a shit bag and you know just lose hope becoming a work late and blah 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 cause that's not gonna help you get there that's gonna give you a shitty eval and then that's going to drop you even lower when you're taking the test. But just study, be focused, get with that good, good first class. Because that's what I did. I had a fucking, shit. <laughs> I had a first class in my pocket the whole time I was in Fallon. Text me questions. Hey, send me questions. He sent me like 10 questions. I'd be like, damn. And then it would make me feel good towards the end of my time in Fallon when he would send me a shit ton of questions, like 10, 20 questions, and I'd be like, bam, bam, and just texting them right back to him, like, didn't have to go to the book, like, I knew all of it, ask me that now, I'd be like, BRB, <laughs> I'd be right back, but, <laughs> yo, get that, that knowledgeable first class, have them shoot you questions all the time, and I don't know, like, if you're not a good test taker, practice, have people give you tests, quizzes, like seriously, you got to get creative and do, do what works for you because 
sitting and staring at a book is not going to work for everybody. Like, it almost didn't work for me. You know what I did? I got bright, bright, bright colored flashcards, like the neon color. And I cut them in half so I could save money because who got time to be wasting money? So <laughs> I cut them in half and then uh, I filled them all out and I would quiz myself. I would be sitting in a room, I would be about to take a shower and I would turn the shower on and I'd be like, look, you don't want that hot water to run out. So what you're going to do is you're going to run through these flashcards real, real quick <laughs> and you can't get in the shower until you're done with these flashcards. And I would do stuff like that to myself. Or I'd be like, yo, I'm so hungry. Uh, can't eat yet until you hit these flashcards. <laughs> I had them everywhere with me. Like when we, when I was in Fallon, the closest mall was like an hour away in Reno. So I would always bring my flashcards. We would go there like every weekend, and I would study all the time. Like I studied all the time. Study, 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 and then make educated guesses. So it's a lot of questions. All right, I don't want to say a lot. All right, but it was probably about an eighth of questions that I was like, damn, I ain't never seen that, or damn, I ain't studied that session, or something like that. So make an educated guess, because on all the questions that I remembered that I guessed on, I asked when I got back to the shop, like, yo, so I had this question, da, 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 da. did you have that question? Yeah, what was the answer? And I was like, oh, I guessed that. So make educated guess guesses. Like, I, th I can't wait to see my profile sheet. I wanted to wait to make this video um, till I saw my profile sheet so I could be like, yeah, I scored in the top 90 percentile, oh, but I was just was like, you know what, I'm off today, I'm going to make this video because I know if I don't make it, it's probably not going to happen, yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, like, you gotta get down to the nitty gritty, sacrifice some, 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 some nights out drinking, some nights out partying, and study make that rank, make that money. So, all right, I'm done rambling and babbling like some old lady trying to think of something else. Oh, real quick before I leave. This is my necklace that my daddy got me. When I went home on leave, he got it. Can you see it? It's an anchor with Jesus and a wheel for the boat. And I think it is the best thing ever, like the best thing since sliced bread. I love this necklace. Like, I'm going to wear this forever and ever and never take it off. So, I love you, Daddy, and thank you for giving me this necklace. Ah, let me stop right here up. Ah! All right, so, with all, with all that being said, I am about to turn off my camera and go shower and get ready to eat some hot dogs and hamburgers. Not the burnt ones. The ones that still got the regular color. Because people make me angry with that. Like, ooh, yeah, give me a burnt hot dog. Like, why do you want to eat those ashes? What is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, so I'm Audi 5000. Y'all stay up, stay positive. Keep your heads on level, stay out of trouble. No drinking and driving, all that. Take care of each other. And this is.